the last recap episode of DreamWorks Dragons Race to the Edge. Kind of sad, but let's just get into it. Episode 13, Total Nightmare. Hey guys, this is Morgan of the Rotoscopers, and I am bringing you my final recap of the Dragons Race to the Edge series. I mean, there will be more of these coming, but this is the first 13 episodes which we have on Netflix right now. There are more coming later in the year, another batch of 13, but we are just going to have to wait until then. So episode 13 starts out and we see Hiccup and he is racing to beat the dome. It's sort of, it's kind of a drill that he is doing just to make sure that he can beat the dome before it closes. And of course, Snotlout says, hey, I can do that. And they think, no, no one has ever done that except for Hiccup, who just barely did it, and he has a much faster dragon than you. He doesn't really care, so he tries to do it and fails miserably. So after this encounter, his dragon Hookfang starts acting a little strange, and eventually just takes off altogether. And uh, this has him a little upset. He's not quite sure why he isn't listening, why he's being disobedient. Hickfang ends up in this little cave area, and Snotlout does not appreciate it. He makes him go back, and then to kind of tame him, he puts him in the pen overnight. Well, Hickfang does not like this. He breaks out of the pen and completely leaves. So by the time Snotlout comes back, you know, he has all this fish. He, okay, we've worked out our differences. Let's just go back to normal. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case because now Hookfang is gone. Snotlout is beginning to get a little worried because um, he loves his dragon and his dragon doesn't seem to love him. So they go on a search for Hookfang and they find him back at the original spot where Hookfang took him the other day. And it turns out they find another monstrous nightmare. This one is a female though which have all the other dragon riders very interested. We have a male and we have a female, what could be going on here? They start talking and Fishlegs thinks that the primal instincts of Hookfang have taken over and he's going feral, meaning he is going back to just being a wild dragon and isn't gonna be tamed or rideable anymore, which gets Snotlout kind of worried. So he makes an ultimatum, he says, it is her or me. And it turns out that Hookfang chooses the female. This absolutely devastates him. He it really puts him in a rut. Ultimately, he decides that he is going to leave the Dragon Riders for good, which has everyone completely shocked because, you know, you can find other dragons, and they try to propose other dragons for him to trade and to ride. And he basically is too haughty to admit, but he just says no too slow, too too ugly, too big, too whatever, and nothing is good enough for him. He doesn't even want another monstrous nightmare, which they bring a bunch. Of course, in the five seconds that he has met them, he names all of the dragons, but he still says, nope, not good enough. So he decides that he is going to quit the dragon riders altogether. Right before he goes back to Burke on a ship, forever, they hear a noise. So they go back and they see that Hookfang, that there is a bigger, more ferocious, a monstrous nightmare who is trying to take over the female. And this is when they realize that Hookfang wasn't abandoning Snotlout, but he was instead taking a break to protect this female's eggs. This female needed protection, and he decided to step up and help. Unfortunately, this giant dragon will not step down. It wants to show its dominance, and it won't stop until it does. It will even kill the other dragon. This is very uh, concerning because they don't want Hookfang to die, but um, this dragon won't go away until he does. So they're really in a pickle. Ultimately, Hookfang and Snotlout get back together. They're able to ride. So they use the dome, the thing that we saw at the very beginning of the episode, to trap the dragon. Ultimately, they're able to show the dominance of Hookfang, make the other dragon step down, and he is able to uh, fly away and be defeated, and Hookfang is numero uno. But luckily, this all ends well because the dragons have hatched at this point in time, so they no longer need the protection of Hookfang. So Hookfang goes back to Snotlout loud and all things are swell. For this episode, I know this wasn't like a season finale. It wasn't supposed to be anything like that. It's just a break in the first season, which is 26 episodes. But to me, because we were given 13 episodes, like I was kind of expecting something big and great and sort of this cliffhanger. I would have preferred that maybe the episodes were switched around a little bit. So Heather's storyline, episodes 10 and 11, maybe they should have been 12 and 13, just so it gave us a little bit of suspense. We got to see a little bit of dagger. That plot started moving moving forward. Um, this one, we didn't see Dagger at all. It was very episodic and self-contained into this one episode. We got to see another dragon, of course, and a little bit more of the relationship between Hookfang and Snotlout. But other than that, nothing too crazy. And um, I guess that's just a little disappointing. I think if we had all 26 episodes at once, I wouldn't be saying this at all. I'd be saying this is a great episode because it is. Um, but just the way that they were presented to us, now we have a big long break. I'm like, ah, I would have loved some sort of big cliffhanger to keep me on the edge of my seat. 
Now one thing that I've noticed that the the episodes are doing recently is there's a mechanic or there's some sort of element that's introduced like the very first scene of the episode. In this case it was the dome and that plays a pivotal part when we go to the very end of the episode. So the dome was actually the thing that we were able to use to save the day. We saw this in the last episode with the flying suit that Hiccup had. Um, ultimately it wasn't working at the beginning but by the end it was perfected as able to help them in a sticky situation. So yeah, I am loving this series so far. I can't wait for these new episodes to come. What do you guys think? Did you like this episode? How did you like the interaction between Hook Fang and Snotlau? And you know, I guess until next time, which will be in a long time, I'm Morgan and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube. Thank you so much for watching my recap series. Uh, let me know if you want me to continue these for episodes 14 through 26. Um, they've been fun to do, but let me know. Thanks guys. Bye.